Warning, it is important that prior to performing this or any other safety or service procedure on any third eye product, that the person performing the work has both read and firmly understands any associated documentation, including but not limited to manuals, instructions, and service bulletins. If there is anything that is unclear or that you don't understand, do not attempt to operate the vehicle or perform any of the service or maintenance tasks called out in this video. Quarantine the area, walk away from the vehicle, and contact your supervisor immediately for clarification. It is also important to ensure you are wearing the appropriate personal protective equipment, hereafter referred to as PPE, prior to beginning this or any other service or maintenance procedure. This video is provided for informational purposes only and is not intended to be a comprehensive guide in any fashion. This video is not a substitute for proper training, qualification, and experience. Third Eye makes no warranty, guarantee, or promise by virtue of this video or the information herein. Please see applicable Third Eye product warranty statements. Please consult your workplace safety policies and relevant operator and service manuals. This video is intended to inform experienced technician of generalized conditions that may occur on some units and to provide information that could assist in the proper servicing of a unit. It is solely up to each technician to ensure safety of the workplace and the work process. Always watch the video in its entirety before beginning any service operation. Hey, I'm Travis Wallen, the service guru here at Third Eye in beautiful Fort Payne, Alabama. Thanks for joining me at the Service Shack. Today we're going to show you how to configure your third eye cameras on your Heil Insight display. If you're running a Heil Refuse Collection vehicle, then you more than likely are going to have this key information center that allows you to view your third eye cameras, as well as troubleshoot from the safety of the cab. With the Heil Insight display, it's essential to know how to configure the display to look for the camera's views from the cameras that you have installed on your unit. On this system, the cameras provide the viewing signal to the AV cable on the quad switch box. The switch box then sends the view of the cameras to the Heil Insight display. The display only looks for cameras that have been properly configured, so we must use this process to tell the Heil Insight display what cameras are installed on the unit. Before beginning, make sure you have the proper PPE necessary. At a minimum, we suggest eye protection, gloves, and safety shoes, but always follow your company's PPE guidelines. First, clear the area of any unnecessary personnel. Then ensure that the wheels have been chocked, the battery disconnect is turned to the own position, the parking brake is applied and holding, the ignition key switch is turned to the own position, and the chassis gear is in neutral position. Once the Heil Insight display is fully booted up, you should see a camera view displayed on the screen. However, if you have yet to configure any of the third eye cameras, you may only see the Heil user screen or home screen. This is normal if you don't have any cameras configured on the display or installed on the unit. To configure the cameras, you first must be on the Heil user screen. If a camera view is displayed, press and hold the top right button on the Heil Insight display. After about five seconds, the user screen should be displayed. Next, press the camera config button on the left side of the screen. You will be prompted to enter a password. After entering the password, press the OK button to enter the camera configuration screen. There, you will see a list of all possible cameras. Reverse, left alley, right alley, hopper, left cab, and right cab. Use the up-down buttons on the display to move the arrow up or down and select each camera that you have installed on your unit by pressing the OK button. The status will turn to green and show as on. If you turn a camera off, the status will show as off and will not be green. Note, you may have only one camera or all of the listed. Only turn on the cameras that have been installed on your unit and turn off the ones that you do not have. If you have a camera turned on that's not installed, when it is triggered to the show its view on the display, it will appear as a blue screen. The blue screen also can signify a failed camera, a failed camera cable, or a disconnected camera cable. Once you have completed configuring your third eye cameras, press the home button on the Heil Insight display and cycle the ignition key switch power. With the ignition key switch turned to the own position and the display fully booted up, check the camera views to ensure you have set up the camera configuration to match your installed cameras. Now that you know how to configure your third eye cameras, let's go through a few troubleshooting scenarios you might encounter. 
If your High Insight display only shows a black screen with the High logo, it means there is no video signal coming from the quad switch box. This could mean the purple video cable connected to the rear of the display is faulty, the AV video out harness is faulty, or the quad switch box has failed. Replace and repair as necessary. If you're having an issue with isolating the source of the video signal failure, please contact Third Eye Tech Services for additional troubleshooting support. If your Heil Insight display shows a multicolored or rainbow screen, this means that camera D, which is most commonly the hopper camera, is disconnected or has been moved from the D connection and placed elsewhere. When this camera is triggered and no video signal is received from the D connection, the screen will become multicolored. To correct this, go to the AV cable and make sure the connection D has the hopper camera cable connected to it. Then make sure that the same camera cable is connected to the hopper camera. This should correct the issue provided the camera and cables are in working order. Lastly, let's troubleshoot a camera view that's showing a blue screen on your High Insight display. If you have turned a camera on in the configuration screen that has been confirmed as being installed, this indicates a disconnected camera, or failed camera, or a failed camera cable. If only one camera shows a blue screen, just look at the top of that screen and it will show you which camera you have a video loss on. However, if multiple screens are blue, this means that a damaged cable is shorting out all of your cameras. To discover the faulty camera or camera cable, disconnect each camera cable at the AV harness, one by one, and reconnect each one as you go. When you disconnect the one that has failed, the other camera views will return. Then you will need to replace the camera cable that you have just disconnected. That's it. Now you know how to configure your Third Eye cameras on your Heil Insight display. If you still have any questions, contact Third Eye Technical Support at 866-804-2984. We also offer a troubleshooting tree to help troubleshoot issues you may run into in the future. Go to Third Eye's website, select support, and then select troubleshooting tree. Remember, we're here to help in any way we can. So be safe out there, and we'll see you next time here at the Service Shack.